we have set up a low code orchestration alert to notify when the employee experience score drops to a bad level. So what we do is for Microsoft Windows devices, we will look at the device status. We will notify if the DEC score drops under 2500, which is 2.5. And in this case, I'm just doing this for a single device for the demo purposes. And we have configured a webhook URL, in this case for Slack, so that a notification will go to Slack. And we create a ServiceNow ticket of the incident. Once the alert is active, we will see that when an employee scores drop to a bad level, that the alert will trigger. And at the same time, while it sends a notification to the webhook, it will also create a ServiceNow ticket. As you can see, the notification is now in Slack in this case, also in the mobile app. And if I go to ServiceNow and do a refresh, you see that there is a new ticket created with information about the device. And we can start our troubleshooting from here. For those customers that use ServiceNow, Troubleshooting can be done without leaving the ServiceNow interface through the Control Up Enrich plugin. Based on the device name, you will see that a icon, a Control Up icon, appeared here on the right, which can be clicked to slide out the core information about this device. If I click it again, I get additional information about the device, around device performance, networking information, things like application crashes and events logs. We also get the top processes and we can immediately see that there is a CPU usage issue, uh, which is according to the top processes caused by Bitcoin miner, which is obviously not an application that somebody should be running. So we can obviously, without ever leaving the interface, kill the process. If it's more complex, uh, one of the available scripts, since we're working with a restricted user, uh, the number of scripts are limited. Uh, but if there would be a more complicated resolution needed, they can be called directly from here or through remote control. But in this case, we're going to kill the process. And this should be a second before it updates. And as we can see, the process is no longer there. And the CPU usage is dropping. With the condition of the alert no longer being present after killing the process, the ticket will get automatically resolved. As you can see, the system has modified this and updated the nodes. Incident automatically resolved by HDX after a certain amount of time depending on the setting of the alert.